Sounds and smells from a rail yard are causing frustration for people in one neighborhood. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Cindy Williams. It's not the trains themselves that those neighbors have a problem with, but more about how long they're being left running, sometimes for days. You said her mains, Hannah Deneen, went to that neighborhood and met with some of those people. She's here now to fill us in on what the problem is and what they want to do about it. Yeah, absolutely. So Pat and Cindy, you know, the people I spoke to, they say they love living in a city with a rich industrial history. And when they moved to the neighborhood, they of course knew the Portsmouth rail yard was right nearby. But in recent months, they say things have changed. They say many of the trains engines that come into the yard are just sitting in the yard, idling for hours, even even days at times. 72 straight hours a diesel train just sat on the track running. Murphy's Law would be that it's not on now. It could be in an hour and then it stays running. Loud trains spewing diesel fumes have been idling in a section of this Portsmouth rail yard for what some say are days on end. And that's got some people living nearby fuming. I don't have an issue living near a train yard and it's never been a problem in the 15 years I've lived here up until recently when they started idling for extended amounts of time. When those long periods of time happen is unpredictable. We were told that our visit to the neighborhood happened during a rare moment of silence. But neighbors showed us video of what they'd been dealing with. You hear it and it's constant and it will wake you up. It's very, very loud. When it's idling, it's uh, spewing the diesel exhaust, which is a known carcinogen. In 2014, people in one neighborhood in Brunswick made headlines when they expressed similar frustration over idling trains in their neighborhood. A year later, more complaints from people living nearby Rigby Yard in South Portland. In both of those cases, the rail authority said it would look into making changes in the train schedule and try to use anti-idling technology. In Portsmouth, these folks say if they had it their way, the train would be relocated further down the tracks. A uh, short-term easy solution, move the train. It's time for change. You know, Pan Am has to make changes. So we have reached out to Pan Am while spokesperson Cynthia, Cynthia Scarano didn't wish to be recorded. She tells me the company is very much aware of these complaints. She says, in fact, last week Pan Am has asked crews to shut down the locomotives in every situation, even if they'll be running for four hours or less. She says Pan Am is committed to installing anti-idling technology in its entire fleet. About half of its fleet has that technology now. She says there's not much the company can do in the winter months when the weather gets really cold it's difficult to shut down the locomotives at all because they'll freeze she says the option of moving the trains further down the tracks is something they're also looking into while pan am says these new instructions went out last week folks in the neighborhood say they've heard this all before and they're skeptical that things will actually change so pat and cindy mm -hmm. certainly something we're going to be looking into and it'll be interesting to see if they can community, the company, everyone can kind of come together and we can get solutions Figure on this. Figure it out. Yeah. Thanks, Anna.